Hey, I'm Jesus, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Valve's crackdown on CSGO training. Now, the reason I'm making this video is that I've recently noticed, along with a few other people, that Valve seems to have changed their policies towards certain types of trading on Steam. And while it might not be something that a lot of people have realised yet, it's still a very big deal and something that could end up affecting a lot of the community, unless you know what to do about it. So I'm going to be explaining what's going on, why it's going on, and how you should deal with it going forward. So, this story begins a bit more than two weeks ago, when Valve banned a Steam group called CSGO Rep. Now, this was a big Steam group, and it served two very important purposes in the community. Firstly, it allowed people to file scam reports, and secondly, and more importantly, it also allowed people to keep a rep thread. Now, a rep thread is essentially a thread where the people you've traded with in the past leave a comment about the transaction, what was bought, what was sold, and how the payment was processed. And it enabled someone to build up credibility as a trader. And that's a big deal if your trades involve real money, because you need to be able to trust someone if you're trading skins for cash. Someone has to go first, and you need to know that the other party will uphold their end of the bargain and not scam you. And Cisco Rep allowed you to build that credibility in an environment that actually had some oversight, so it performed a great service to the community. But that's all past tense now, because Valve has said no. Apparently, it was violating the Steam community rules and guidelines, which is a bit weird because the guidelines aren't very big and I, I can't find anything in there that the group would have been violating. But that's not the only weird thing that's happened recently. You see, there's a very big trader from Germany called Rambo Fight, a legit guy, no pretender, but about a week and a half ago, Valve slapped him with a community ban. And, and granted, his inventory does look a bit like it belongs to a human trafficker. I mean, look at all these agents, but this guy wasn't banned for people smuggling. No, he was actually banned for leaving a comment that said, plus rep, I bought his knife for cash, very smooth and friendly. Now, that is the exact set of comment you would have found all over the place in CSGO reps, rep threads. In other words, it looks like it might be exactly the same thing behind both of these bans. And even more interesting is the fact that when Rambo Fight got his account unlocked, Steam support didn't even seem to clear him. Instead, they said they believed the account was hijacked and was being used to post scam comments. And sure, they did unlock it and told him to tighten his security, but what if they decided he hadn't been hijacked? Based on this message, it looks like the ban easily could have been permanent. Now, Rambo Fight suggested that maybe the word cash or the word plus rep is blacklisted. And I'm going to spare you the suspense. Plus rep appears all over Steam. People leave plus rep comments for all kinds of reasons. It's definitely the word cash that's gotten him in trouble here. And this is the policy change that I'm talking about. It looks like Valve is starting to ban people for discussing trading scenes for cash on Steam. Now, it's important to understand that this is not the same as stopping people from trading for cash. It's only talking about it that's affected, but you still get a community ban for it. And if you're a trader and you get one of those things, well, you've just lost your entire inventory. That is not something you want to take a risk on. But it also raises the question, why would they be doing something so dramatic just over comments like this? Well, there's two reasons they might be doing it. Firstly, it might be to combat scammers. CSGO has a rampant problem with scammers. It's nothing new. In fact, it's probably better these days than it was in the past. But nonetheless, there is still a dedicated industry of people trying to scam other people's skins. And one type of scam involves using an account that's carefully tailored to make it look like a real trader's profile. I've done videos on this sort of stuff before. And one of the things these accounts do is leave fake comments on each other's profiles about cash trades that never happened to try and make themselves look trustworthy to casual players. And Steam groups in particular are used a lot for this sort of stuff. I mean, take this group for example, CSGO Rep for Rep. Now, I'm not sure if this is an outright scam group or just being used by scammers, but either way, it's just a massive shithole. Just look at the spam in the comments, for example. It just tells you everything you need to know. But if we go up here, go to members, what you'll notice is that it's full of fake dummy accounts used by scammers, identical accounts set up to look exactly the same. We'll just go and have a look at a couple of these. And so what you'll notice looking at these accounts is that they're basically exactly the same, except they've got a different Steam ID and slightly different unnecessary sexualized gifts down here. That these are a bunch of dummy accounts used for scamming. Ryan McGlinchey, he does not exist. These are dummy accounts set up by a scammer to scam people. Look, they've even got the same items. They're all, they're all, you know, stock, copy and pasted. <coughs> I, I don't know why these are there, but anyway, 
This is all pretty standard. And this group, regardless of why it was made, is being used by scammers to help create the profiles they're going to use to scam people. And you might ask, well, why would Valve ban a reputable group like CSGO Rep, but not this one, which is obviously bullshit? Well, it's probably because Valve's system is based around bots that scan for this sort of content, and CSGO Rep being larger and more frequently used would have attracted more attention. And if it's any consolation, I can bet you a lot of scammers are getting banned as well. But there's a second reason Valve also might be doing this stuff. You see, CSGO is a game that has a slot machine in it, and its skins are also used by people to run literal licensed gambling sites. Legally, that's a bit awkward. However, the, the way they sort of shield themselves from liability is by saying in their terms of service, they don't recognize any transactions of skins for cash. They have no involvement, they keep their distance, and legally, that's how they protect themselves. But if people are using Steam to publicly talk about and advertise cash trading, is Valve really keeping out of this? Aren't they actively facilitating it instead? This stuff may be a bit of a problem for Valve and they might not be that happy about having cash rep threads on Steam. And that may help to explain why CSGO rep got nuked. And while I can't be 100% certain about that, I think it is very clear what we as a community need to do in response to this. So firstly, don't talk about cash trading on Steam outside of your DMs. Don't make threads about it. Don't leave plus rep comments mentioning it because there's a risk you might get community banned. Do it on other platforms, not on Steam, and your account should be safe. Additionally, I think that as a community, we really need to move all the infrastructure around trading skins for money off Steam's platform. All the plus rep stuff, all the rep threads, all the discussions about trading skins for money, none of it should be on Steam. It should all be somewhere else. I ideally a mix of platforms, but just not Steam because I think this is going to be a bigger and bigger problem as time goes on. Valve isn't going to stop you from trading skins for cash, but it looks like they really don't want you talking about it on their platform. And honestly, I think it is kind of understandable that Valve wants to do that. And the best thing we can do as a community is move all this stuff elsewhere. It's a pretty simple solution, but I think it will solve a really big potential problem. And I just wanted to draw people's attention to it. So with that, I think this video is done. So thanks very much for watching. I would have gotten it out earlier, but that whole broken fang thing happened. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's massively appreciated. And otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Pazoos. Thanks for watching. See ya.